Hello, Zach Gimignani with Juice Analytics. I want to take you through today uh, the process of putting together a very simple application that has a common pattern that we find that shows up often when we're building uh, data stories in our Juicebox platform. Uh, this is an example where I have some video game data and uh, the, the pattern is this ability to select different dimensions. In this case, I have video games by platforms, genres, publishers, and have those selections drive the uh, breakout of that data. So we're looking at sales now by, by genre. And, as, and then as it works in almost all of our juice box applications, as you select uh, something in this bar chart, it's going to drive the content of a t detailed table below. So that little workflow is really common for us. And I'm going to take you through the process of actually building that uh, in Juicebox. So I have a data set here, which is games by, by year with uh, information about the platform publisher and the total sales for those games. And we'll show you what that looks like to put together uh, this common set of visual components uh, that is very useful. So I've actually already built, uh, created this application. It's very quick in Juicebox to create a new application. I'm going to load up uh, this data set that we have here, video game sales. Uh, I'm going to load that up um, and create what we call the data ingredients, which are the building blocks uh, for creating your visualizations and those different selectors that I showed you in the finished application. So once that loads up, we'll get a little sample view of the data. Uh, so here's a bunch of rows of it. And all I need to do is select this orange button and I'm gonna add all of those data fields. That's gonna create what we call data ingredients uh, in our application. So once those are created, um, they'll show up over here and, the, and we're in the data tab. I'm going to move over to the design view. So this is really where the action is. Uh, when you create a new application, there are three sections that are automatically created, an introduction, an exploratory section, a conclusion. You can delete or add to this, but this just gives you a starting point. I'm not going to do anything with the introduction to start with. Um, in this explore area, the first thing we want to do is you want to create that selector that I showed you. So the selector is going to show is going to give you um, the choices. I'm going to, have to move my face over here. Uh, platforms, genres. What was the last one we had in there? Publishers. So those are. That's going to give you the different uh, selection options. So you have all those three. Because I chose dimensions, um, it just shows them as those different values. Um, but really, you have to actually use that to make that a selector. And the way we do that is we're going to add a bar chart, if you remember from the beginning. Um, and the data we're going to use from that bar chart is something we call the um, is the dynamic value of what gets selected in the previous one. So the bar value is what the bars are going to represent what gets selected above here. And we really only have one metric to work with in this data set, and that's global sales. So when we add that in, you'll see that now we have a bar chart that is actually, because I chose the bars to represent what gets selected above there, it automatically is getting connected like that. Uh, the last thing I'll add in here is that table that we had um, shown. So very often at the end of a, of a chart like this, we'll want to be able to show um, the details of what is getting selected. So we might say, you know, we'll put some of these values in here. Um, and that table is automatically going to be filtered based on the selections that you make above. So when I select, um, action games under genre that's going to filter the list down here below you don't really have to do anything in Juicebox to make that happen to create that filtering capability so you connect these three parts and you have a nice exploratory drill down application uh, that lets you look at this data so that wraps it up um, we have a bunch of these videos so i hope it's helpful